guys, so this week I read Hansel and Gretel by Neil Gaiman and it's basically a retelling of the original fairy tale with a bit of a Neil gaiman -y sort of twist on it. And the reason why I read it is because it was actually on my Goodreads like reading list for a really long time and then funnily enough my tutor let me read it yesterday in a lecture because we were looking at children's books. And I really, really enjoyed myself, actually. It's only a really short book, because I think it's meant to be for about eight-year-olds, really. But it's actually really good and really, really dark. Like, in some ways, I don't think it should be for children, because it's so dark, and there's quite a lot of... Not exactly murder in it, but there's quite a lot of adult themes, and it's quite spooky and terrifying in places. So to have it as a children's book is slightly weird, really. But I guess with all the Grimm's fairy tales and stuff anyway, I guess it's kind of fine. But it was really well written and the book itself is beautiful. I wish I could show you it, but I don't have the book on me because it was my tutors, obviously. But it, everything, like all the photos are in black and white and the only bit of colour is on the occasional orange capital letters that start the paragraphs of the book. And then the rest of it is completely black and white. All the drawings and everything are in black and white in it as well. And it's sort of how it's all drawn in all the pictures is slightly odd because it all sort of looks like it's drawn like everybody's a shadow or something like that. And there's not much definition in them and stuff. And some of it's quite hard to make out. And I think that adds to sort of like this creepy feeling that you get when you read the book. And it's like the story itself, there's quite a lot of dark themes in it. Like, the mother, for example, the family is starving and the mother tells the father to get rid of the kids so they can survive and eat them, like, have enough food for the two of them because there's not enough for four. And it was like, whoa, cutthroat mother much? It was really weird because I haven't read that sort of interpretation of it. And it's like when they get to the woods and they find the uh, house and everything, the witch invites them in and locks Hansel up but leaves Gretel by herself and makes her sort of be a slave and it's Gretel who shoves her in the oven by tricking her into the oven by saying she doesn't know how to check to see if it's hot enough and she doesn't know if it's going to be hot enough to flay her skin off or however they quite pronounce it, it's something like that but it's like, it's stuff like that and it's all the way through and there's sort of like quite brutal bits of death and stuff all the way through it and I love that kind of thing I'm seriously in love with all that type of thing really like I seriously love sort of like the gory and the creepy and the twisted stories and all the rest of it and this was really quite twisted for a children's book and really quite creepy to be honest I reckon it could give some kids nightmares it was like quite creepy like it was that creepy in places and I really enjoyed it and it was really perfect for this kind of time of year really and it was just really really good it was only about 30 pages long in the end and most of them were double page spreads of the pictures and it was only every other sort of two pages was the actual story so it was actually sort of like a quick 15 minute read basically like it took me longer to read a comic but how Neil Gaiman's done it so there's so much sort of terror and fear in so little words is absolutely genius like i've never come across so little words to come up with something so creepy it was oh it was just really good and i really really enjoyed myself and it's just i'm definitely going to buy this book the next time i see it because it is really really good and i think it's a testament to how well neil gaiman writes to be honest because it's just so sort of creepy and sort of it's sort of got this really dark edge to it and it's just like it's just really good with so few words it's still just so well done i seriously enjoyed it really i'm definitely going to be looking out for more of neil gaiman's sort of children's books and just generally neil gaiman's stuff because it was really really good and i'm so glad my tutor actually showed it to me yesterday because funny enough she actually um, picked it up specifically for me because she knows I like morbid and macabre stuff so yeah I love her for that quite frankly it was awesome and it was seriously well worth reading and if you have any sort of 
like if you know anybody who's quite young or anything who likes that kind of thing then I definitely recommend you get this for them though I wouldn't say to read it to them just before bedtime because they will have nightmares but like it's a really good book to sort of read with kids and all the rest of it when they're possibly a bit older and if they like sort of macabre and morbid stuff or if you like macabre and morbid stuff and sort of short stories and stuff it's a really good read and the book is beautifully done and all the drawings are really sort of in keeping with the creepy theme and everything and it's just I really loved it basically and I really really enjoyed it and I'm definitely going to be looking out to go and buy it myself because I loved it and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you have any recommendations for any more rewritten gory fairy tales like that please tell me down in the comments that'd be awesome and if you want to see more of my videos please click subscribe here and if you want to see my previous video it's right here and I guess that's an, it for this week so until next time guys bye